She's humping the tree. This shot, don't compliment the scene. Kinda need to figure out what you're saying there with your eyes melting in tears and all that kind of stuff. Um, go away from this bit, this bit's not interesting. Yeah. Eh, yeah. Okay, hi everyone. In this photo critique, we are doing Ronaldo Tagadi. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that name, but I'm um, going to go with that. Um, a strange email. Okay, uh, it says, Hi, I'm Ronaldo V. Tagadi, uh, amateur photographer from the Philippines. Since I'm just an amateur in this field, I want you to give your honest comments on my photos. Uh, though how harsh... Though how harsh it would be, um, I will take it in a constructive way and learn from any mistakes. I've chosen five photos from my best photos um, in different areas of photography. Okay. Here I give Don Bar the right to replicate my images, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first one is Bocalicious. Um, and this is the photo here. Okay, and it looks like... Go away. Uh, looks like a very nice girl against a tree in a park. Um, looks very nice. Um, a photo of my friend Medin, Medin, uh, taken while we had a tour in the in one of the gardens here in Wales. Okay, uh, okay. So you're from the Philippines and you came over to Britain and you're in Wales. Okay, I found this huge tree and used it as part of the photo. Uh, correct, you have. Um, as I was giving her some instructions and cracking some jokes, she started to laugh and close her eyes. Sometimes unexpected events turn to, turned to be very magical, so I pressed the shutter button and this was the result. I also love the bokeh uh, produced at the background. This was, uh, this was processed using Adobe Photoshop CS5. Okay, um, yeah, that's... Uh, wow, your friend has got some amazing skin. Uh, you can't see anything on that at all, or either that or you've done some very good editing. Um, in terms of exposure-wise, yes, I see you've got that very nice. In terms of uh, lighting on the model's face, that looks great. There's no harsh shadows in any way, which certainly suits her face. Um, in terms of her pose, she's got a lovely smile, eyes being closed. It kind of gives you this a whole idea of, you know, kind of cracking jokes, having a bit of fun. It's definitely there. Um, but, she looks like she's humping the tree. Like, she's just like, grab the tree, and she's rubbing herself against the tree. It's just an odd pose, is all I can say. Um, if we had her kind of more leaning against the tree, or something, but it kind of is like she's listening to the creatures which are inside the tree. Um, but in terms of your photographic ability, I think you've done a very good job here. I love how there's a little bit of wind wisping her hair, but I'm just not sure of her kind of flat against the, against the tree really works. Um, also, you've added a little bit of a vignette up here, which just isn't really necessary because the image itself is all about her, and you don't really need to use that vignette because the picture is already framed with the tree on one side and the bouquet on the other side. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fine photo, um, Bocalicious. Uh, the, the name really refers to the background, is, is all this stuff here. Um, so that's an unusual name to give uh, a photo which is really about a model. So think about what you're, how you're going to be naming your photos. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's see the next one. Uh, e yeah. Okay, so this is called St Mary's Churchyard. Uh, this was taken when I was when I had a holiday in Whitby. Uh, there was an old couple walking in front of us, so I used them as part of the photo. At the left side, a family group is heading their way to the church as well. I really like how the colours punched and the Im and the formation of the clouds, which lead your eyes to the main subject. Uh, okay, let's go into this closely. Okay, so we've got an HDR photo here um, and boy is that punching. Now my question is the punch which you've given it is very bright, very colourful, very very not really this location. This location is an old church in an old graveyard with some old people going to the old church while walking through the old graveyard. The colours and everything that you've given it this shot 
don't complement the scene. It also seems like it's at a little bit of an angle. It looks like it's kind of uh, leaning that way as well. So, first of all, I would say is straighten the image. Um, the bit which you need to straighten is more kind of in the centre. The bit at the side, you may have tried to make that bit straight, but that's not the bit because you use such a wide angle and you're shooting at a, an angle. Um, where you really need it to be straight is kind of over here, because like here really looks like it's at an angle. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's the wrong editing for an image. Uh, for example, if I were to do old church stuff, let me have a little look if I've got anything here. Okay, this would probably be my closest uh, example of it. Uh, this was, again, a church, a bit like the one that you've got in your image, and it's got shots of the people going into the church uh, on a Sunday morning. Uh, you've got the light coming from the side because it's very early in the morning. You've got this kind of cool low-down sunshine and all that kind of stuff. But I've given it a sepia tone. I've upped the contrast a little bit, um, and I've just made it kind of look old-fashioned, like the building that it is. And that's where this image here looks like something from a cartoon book. It doesn't look like a photographer's photo. It looks like somebody with one of those, you know, you could paint it and you could throw whatever colours you want at it. So yeah, think about the editing and see if it reflects the image that you are, you've taken a photo of. Okay, let's see your next one. Okay, so this one's called The Crucifixion. Uh, you've said here, uh, this is the statue of the crucifixion of Christ in Conwe. Con Conwe. Guessing that's in Wales again. Uh, this is not the original photo from my camera. Thank goodness you should always edit. Um, it is good. I always shoot in RAW, then process it afterwards. Okay, good work. Correct, you shoot, Ronaldo. Um, I really like the mood of this photo as if my heart is melting in... I really like the mood of this photo as if my heart is melting in tears. When I take photos of sculpture slash statue, I'll make sure I process it in black and white to show the details on the textures and give a three-dimensional look. Uh, okay, so your eyes melting in tears. Okay, I kind of need to figure out what you're saying there with your eyes melting in tears and all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so I'm guessing your little addition to this photo would be adding this little kind of uh, flare coming down. Uh, that's cool, that's, that's a good little move, and the black and white is a definitely kind of really moody shot for that. So this, this kind of goes in direct contrast to your last photo. This suits the image. The editing that you've done here suits the photo that you've taken off. Oh, God, my, my English is now becoming pretty pants as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a statue shot. Uh, I've just double checked to see if you've... Got it totally straight. So just whenever you're taking photos of this, make sure you're dead straight on. Um, here, there's something odd kind of going on. It kind of looks like it's a wee bit off to one side. Uh, but uh, yeah, so effectively, the editing you've done goes well with that. In fact, when I saw this in this small JPEG, I thought, oh my god, is this like a, 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 a play or something you've taken a photo of? But no, it's a statue, and uh, the lighting on it looks uh, really good. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. You've done it there. Good. Good work. Okay, this next one is the Victorian Pier. Okay, you did a good bit of travelling while you were over here, if you were just having a holiday over here. Um, uh, the Victorian Pier. It was one afternoon when I am in the mood to go out and take some photos. I went to the shore and tried to do a long exposure photography for the first time. Again, everyone, please... Don't send me your first time tryouts of doing certain types of photos. Again, my advice is go out, take the photos, go home, look at them, see how you think you could have done better, go out, do them again, and once you think you've got a certain type of photo that you think you are good at doing, then send them in. Not just your first time doing long exposure shots. Uh, okay, uh, but anyway, uh, so far, so good. Um, I got my tripod with me and a newly bought shutter cable uh, release and ND filter. Um, after how many test shots I manually set my camera then taking and started taking photos and this was my best shot of them all. Uh, how I wish there was a heavy wave at the time I took the photo. Okay, 
Okay, you've only done it for 1.3 seconds at f32. Um, ISO 200 uh, with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Um, okay, what I could say is it's a little bit underexposed. Um, I would have just gone for longer than 1.2 seconds uh, if that's how long you've done it for. Um, it's also very blue, very very blue. And granted, if you want blue in the sky to make the sky nice and blue, that's fine. But is when it's really blue, kind of here, and even on like bits like bits of the rock. It are blue as well, like the blacks are becoming blue. So check your white balance here, it looks a little bit too off, you know, not, not the right white balance. Um, it, generally I would say blues certainly can work, they can give it a much more moody atmosphere and stuff like that, but here, the other, okay, next thing, uh, composition wise, you've got to think of your leading lines, your object of interest, your subject in the background, uh, all this kind of stuff. Here, you've really taken a picture of a very dull puddle. Uh, it's a puddle with your long exposure that you've done here has had no effect on this water here, which is the main part of your image. What it has had effect on is this bit of water out here, it looks like. So that's all nice and mushy. That's really cool. That's really nice. Um, and you can see kind of bits where there's been no waves and no reflection. So, I would say go away from this bit, this bit's not interesting. What is interesting is this pier. I would say even going right underneath, if you're standing right under this, that's a cool shot underneath there with all the kind of lines and bits and stuff like that. Again, I think you've done an evening shot here, a very early morning shot or uh, a misty bad weather day would be amazing to go out on this. Uh, but what you've shot here is a really dull puddle like these rocks, again, I would say they, these are cool rocks, so maybe if you were at the side and you had these rocks leading off to this, but instead you just got this kind of big puddle curve rather than a leading line. You don't have any leading lines in this that lead to the ob object of interest, which you've called the Victorian Pier. That's kind of like a second thought in the background of the picture. So yeah, that was my little rant there. Um, so think about your composition, not just whether, not just the technical ability of being able to do a one and a half second photo, but think about, you know, what are you actually capturing? Okay, next one. Okay, this one's called Try Frog, and I wish I had a bigger uh, file of this, because this looks kind of disgusting, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, so it's like three frogs stuck together. Um, I named this, this photo as Try Frog. Uh, because there were three frogs that were that are sticked to each other and they won't be separated no matter what. I think the middle frog is the mother frog and the other two are her baby frogs. Ha 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 ha. I used a speed light off camera, good work, uh, to the right to light them up. Processed in Photoshop and underexposed the, wa the water? Underexposed the water. Okay, Nikon D90, 1 500th of a second, ISO 200, f5.6. Ooh, 1 500th of a second with an off camera flash. So you've gone into your hyper sync mode uh, where your speed light is able to go faster than the normal sync speed. But I would say possibly go with a smaller aperture rather than changing the uh, sync speed so it's faster than 250th of a second because you still get more power if you're changing the aperture rather than if you're changing the beyond sync speed power of the flash. Um, but in terms of this photo, uh, I thought this was like another one of your statues uh, kind of thing that you've taken off. It's uh, it's a bit odd. So yeah, looks like your flash is really just off to camera right. Um, and I get what... Okay, this file is very small, but it looks like the depth of field is very, very shallow. Again, this is where changing your aperture to a smaller aperture, it's like an f8 or an f11, would have been better here because it looks like the top frog is blurry. I think either that or... You're saying there's water somewhere, but I can't see the water. I don't. I don't know where the water is or what's going on there. Um, and this frog here looks like it's in focus and bits down here, but definitely the top one looks out of focus. So change your aperture um, so that the subject is all in focus in this shot here, because that's because it's all like this is all like wow detail. What what am I looking at here? And if one part is really blurry, it ends up just looking like a giant turd on the side of this frog, which also looks like a turd. Um, and the blur here is the blur from the water. I, I don't, I don't understand what I'm seeing here. It's really weird. It's quite, inter it's an interesting photo, and I like to see different ones as well. Um, it's very, very odd 
is the only way to describe it. What I would say is also have the camera, have the flash a little bit more off camera because it really does seem like the light is just bouncing straight off the trifrog uh, on the way back. Um, but yeah, that is your shots, and you've left your Flickr and your Facebook and your YouTube. Oh, you've got YouTube. Let's have a look here. R V O R Ronaldo V. Ah, you've got some nice photos. Let's see if you've got any sound. Yes. Good work. Okay, so I'll put this link on the video for everyone else to have a look at. Some nice flowers there as well. And a bird. And a tree. And a flower. I shall... Cool. Okay, so anyway, that... Uh, there you go, everyone. That is... Shut up. Uh, that was the shots from Ronaldo. And just go over them. Okay, the frog. Flash off camera a little bit more and watch the water. The uh, sunset one with the uh, Victorian Pier, really try and make sure you've got some proper leading lines and watch your white bands. The uh, crucifixion, I would say good shot. Uh, yes, did it well. The St Mary's Churchyard where you've got the like mental colours going on, don't do that. Uh, and the picture of your friend against the tree, lovely person. However, her pose where she's humping the tree is a bit strange. That's my phone going, so I better go. Speak to you later, bye. Oh no, speak to you later, I mean just goodbye.